I love the Christmas season. It is so beautiful when the various houses are decorated with Christmas lights. If multiple houses on the same street are decorated, it becomes almost magical. At my home, I have a tradition on Christmas Eve of having neighbors and friends over while I bake the ham and bread pudding and make sorrel and poncha creme. This year there will be no bread pudding and poncha creme as my mother and aunts have died and I normally made these for them. It is said that there is a sorrel shortage in Trinidad this year, but I do not have that problem because I planted sorrel and was able to reap as seen in this short clip. So my tradition of making sorrel drink on Christmas Eve is able to continue. I prepare the sorrel petals the old-fashioned way of removing the seeds. Later in this video, I will show the boiling and sweetening process. I have a link in the video description for my other video on sorrel. For most people in Trinidad, it would not be Christmas unless there is a ham. As we have friends come into the house on Christmas Eve, the baking of the ham is done in the afternoon so that it is finished by the time everyone arrives. Trinidadians always want their meat flavored, so cloves are inserted into the ham. Now a little sauce for basting the ham. A simple sauce of ketchup, mustard, Angostura bitters, rum, and Worcester Sire sauce. While the ham is in the oven, quiet conversation takes place on the porch. Well, night has arrived, the ham is finished, friends and family have come, and the Christmas lime is in full swing. While the lime is going on, the pots have been placed on the stove for the water to boil for the start of making the sorrel drink. The lime is going good. While there's action in the kitchen, on the porch, friends and family are sitting, chatting, drinking, eating. A good Christmas lime. All the bottles have been washed and set aside for when the sorrel drink has been made. Now is the time, as Trinidadians would say, to draw the sorrel, or others will say, to place the petals to seep. To enhance the flavor of the drink, 
I add cloves, cinnamon and bay leaves along with the sorrel petals. The color and flavor of the sorrel petals and spices have properly seeped into the water and now is the time to strain the sorrel. Yeah, rest is 
Yeah. 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 Hey, stop, stop. Way back over. And add sugar. You're still here when you finish it. Alright, go ahead. Now, I don't know. Just a little bit in there. Right. Yeah. Well, all you're talking, discussing brandy. We want to go to the and bring the bottles. Well, yeah. As I think, in them I can see more across. You want to really cover that, right? Yeah, no, we can't cover right away. They stay in the bottle and cool it. Oh, that's good. Yeah. While the bottling is taking place, friends wander in from the porch to see how it is going. So the first part of the bottling is complete. Everyone who came tonight will get sorrel to take home. And tomorrow morning, I will go and deliver sorrel to other friends. The other bottles will be placed in the refrigerator and I will have sorrel for the entire year. In the interim, the sorrel petals have been put back in boiling water to produce another batch of sorrel drink. As the dark purple sorrel is potent and can give two batches of drink, from the same petals. By the time you are viewing this video, 
Christmas Day will be over. And I hope that you had an enjoyable Christmas. And I would like to wish you a prosperous and healthy New Year.